guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name is Carolina. Thank you so much for watching. Today's video is gonna be a foundation review, first impression, and wear test of this foundation by Huda Beauty. I'm so excited to be trying out this foundation for you guys in today's video. So we're just gonna quickly jump into this because I am gonna be doing like a wear test and I don't know how long I'm gonna have this foundation on for and it's already pretty late for a foundation review. It's about noon, so it's about 12, 12.20. I'm gonna to try to keep this on as long as possible Possible, but we'll see I'll keep you guys updated I do still want to keep trying this out testing it out with different primers and whatnot but today I just wanted to do like a full just a first impression a wear test just to see how it sits how it looks on my skin so I have the foundation right here which is the Huda Beauty Fall Filter Luminous Foundation. This is not a brand new foundation by Huda Beauty. She actually already had a Fall Filter Matte Foundation, which I do have as well, which I have right here. It's definitely beat up. Can't really see like the logo, the label on this, and it's a little bit dirty. Um, whereas the new one is all nice and fresh and you can see the logo But I still wanted to try this out just because it's a different formulation of her original formula I feel like this one's discontinued. I was looking for it on Sephora's website and I couldn't find it So I feel like this is just gonna replace her old matte formula of the foundation and I do really like this foundation I mean, I've tried it out several times. I did a whole first impression aware test here on my channel as well It's old but I will leave a link to that down below if you guys are interested and want to check it out. So before I put it on my face, I am just going to read you guys some details about the new foundation, prices, and all that. So again, this is the Huda Beauty Fall Filter Luminous Matte Foundation. This retails for $40 and it does have 38 shades. I believe it's the same number of shades as the original formula. Um, and I did pick mines up in the color 220 Custard. So I'm hoping this is going to match me. I have a feeling that it is going to match me. Um, this one is described as light with neutral undertones. So I feel like it's a good match for me, honestly. And then just really quickly, the details of the foundation. It just says that it's a cult favorite fragrance free which is one of the changes that she did for the new formula which I'm so happy about. I do like Huda Beauty products but I just hate that she includes fragrance in her products, her complexion products which is one of the reasons why I typically don't really reach for that brand. Just because I'm really sensitive to smells, like I don't really love overly fragrance, perfumey smells and like skincare or like makeup complexion products. But I'm so happy that she made this new formula fragrance free. Um, it's a full coverage, up to 24 hours of wear, and a luminous matte finish. It's another change that she did, so it's no longer a completely flat matte finish. I stay away from full coverage matte foundations now, um, so I'm excited that this one's a luminous matte finish, so it looks like it's going to give you a little bit of like luminosity to the skin. It's going to look nice and dewy. Again, this product is vegan and cruelty-free, and it says that it's a blend of full coverage uh, formula. It's fragrance free, transfer proof, waterproof, fade proof, and sweat and humidity proof and offers up to 24 hours of wear. Everything sounds amazing about this foundation. This is what the skin is looking like right now. I don't really have any breakouts. I have a couple of small breakouts. Um, my forehead's actually my trouble area right now so we're going to see if it's going to cover all that. I do have like dark spot, redness around my nose here and on my chin. For primer, I am going to use a primer just because I always wear primers when I use a foundation or do any kind of reviews. It's just something that I always do. I always wear primers. So it's just unrealistic for me to do a first impression, a wear test without wearing a primer. And today I'm just going to use the e.l.f. Putty Primer. I'm sure you guys have seen this. This is like the dupe for the Tatcha uh, Silk Primer. Actually, I'm going to zoom you guys in so you guys can see my skin closer up so we can see all my texture, pores, blackheads, imperfections, everything that I have. It looks like it's a glass packaging, but it's not. It's like the acrylic packaging. It's very, very lightweight. It's not heavy, so I feel like this is perfect to travel with. And the best part is that it does come with a pump. 
I love foundations that come with a pump. So let me pump some out on the back of my hand so you guys can see. I'm just gonna like spread it out just to see what that color looks like. So it looks like it is gonna oxidize just a bit, so just keep that in mind. I think the shade is gonna be perfect for me. Um, and I am gonna use a sponge. I always use a sponge when I apply foundation on my skin, especially this being full coverage. I do prefer a sponge just to like soak up any of the excess product, make the skin look a little bit more luminous and fresh. So I'm just gonna apply some of the primer on my finger. So I'll show you guys the before. And I'm gonna start in here. I'm gonna do this side first so you guys can see and then compare it and then apply the rest of my face makeup. So I'm gonna do this side first so we can compare it to this. That was pretty much a one full pump. And that is full coverage. Let me bring my mirror a little bit closer. Whoa. Yeah, definitely full coverage. Because I'm using the sponge, I do feel like it absorbed a little bit more of the product. But, I mean, it is covering up what I have on my forehead, but I definitely need a little bit more coverage. But like, this area looks really nice. So this side has one pump of the foundation. And then this side has no foundation. You can see the difference. So that's what the skin is looking like. So again, I use two full pumps for everywhere on my face. And I do feel like I covered up basically everything. Right here in between like my eyebrows, it is a little bit dry. It's emphasizing a lot of the dryness that I have. I don't like that it is emphasizing some of the dryness that I have here. Um, it's not overly emphasizing the texture that I have on my skin. As far as the breakout, because I do have like a breakout right here, I can still see it. So either I'm going to add a little bit more foundation right here just to cover that up a little bit more or leave it because I am still going to apply concealer on top of this. So I don't want it to be extremely cakey and dry. You can definitely see the fine lines, the creasiness that I have. So we'll see how this is going to like move around throughout the day. Um, what I'm going to do now is I'm actually going to finish the rest of my face makeup and then I'll come back, share with you guys my thoughts. And then I'm going to do a couple of check-ins before I do the final check-in and give you guys my final thoughts. So I will be right back. So I just wanted to show you guys what my skin looks like after I pair the rest of my makeup on. I wasn't going to do anything as far as eyeshadow, but then I ended up doing this, lashes, lips. I'm not even going anywhere. I'm just working from home today. But I really like how my skin looks. It looks matte, but it's not overly matte, like super drying. It doesn't look flat. So I really like that. I felt like the like luminous finish went away once I apply the rest of the face products on top but I did bring it back with a little bit of highlighter so it is settling into those fine lines that I have I do see the texture it's not like overly emphasizing the textures and the fine lines that I have on my skin but I can definitely see it which is one of the reasons why I don't really reach for or use a lot of full coverage foundations I just don't love the finish of them personally on my skin. Like it looks really, really nice on camera. Like what I'm seeing in the viewfinder, it looks really nice. In person, it looks okay. Uh, I'm not gonna use setting spray um, for today because I do want to see how long this is gonna last on my skin. I am working from home and I took a little bit of a break when I was applying the rest of my face makeup. So it's 
been like about an hour since I last checked in with you guys. It's about 2.30 now. I don't know if you guys can see it. Um, so I'm going to keep this on for the rest of the day. Um, but so far I do like it and I think it's a really nice full coverage foundation. But it doesn't look overly drying. It doesn't look super matte on the skin. So that I really like. Um, but I'll keep you guys updated. I'm going to do a check-in in just a few hours just to see what the skin is looking like. I'm actually going to insert some pictures here so you guys can see. I actually took a picture with the flash on with the back of my camera so you guys can see really up close what my skin looks like. There's no editing. I didn't do any editing in these pictures. I just use here. I have like my ring lights. I'm not going to add any setting spray or anything like that because I really want to see what this foundation is going to look like throughout the day. And I'm also not going to touch up because again, I want to see what it's going to look like. So I'll be back in a little bit to check in with you guys. Hi love. So I wanted to do a quick little update for you guys. It's been about five hours. It's almost 6.30 and I've had this on since about like 1 1 30 but i wanted to show you guys what my skin is looking like so i haven't touched up my um lipstick lip liner all that did come off because i was eating and i just apply a little bit of lip balm on you want to say hi i haven't seen you in a while this is my daughter you say hi <laughs> Hello. And someone's walking already, right? Can you show them how you walk? Can you show them how you walk? Wow. Okay, I'm like right here in front of the light. Sorry. I'm right here in front of the light so you guys can see what the skin is looking like. So it is a little bit dewy, not super oily. I don't see really anywhere where it's rubbed off, but you can definitely see like the texture on my skin good so for five hours not too bad like i said i didn't put any setting spray and i haven't touched up since i applied this on my face so so far i think it looks nice so i'm gonna get back with you guys in just a bit to take this off because i really want to take these lashes off but if i do like the glue is just gonna come off my eyes are just gonna look crazy so i'm gonna leave this on for a few more hours and then i'll do the final check-in with you guys Okay guys, I am back and this is going to be the final check-in. I'm so tired. I have a huge migraine. i just so ready to get all this makeup off. I'm so tired. So just want to show you guys what my skin looks like. Definitely super oily, especially here. And I don't really get oily around like my cheek area. I mainly stay oily in my T-zone area. And it is oily. But for whatever reason, like, here is extremely oily, which that normally doesn't happen that often when I wear other foundations. And the foundation has rubbed off on my nose right here. Mm, around, like, my chin area here. A little bit on my forehead as well. I can definitely see where the foundation has rubbed off, like, here. I didn't touch up throughout the day, and I didn't use a setting spray. Um, so it's not horrible. Um, it's been about eight hours that I've had this on. It's about like 9.30 now. Um, so I had this on since around like 1, 1.30. Um, so it's been about eight, eight hours, but not too bad. I definitely want to still keep like testing it out and trying it out for you guys. Because again, this is just a first impression and a wear test. I do like the foundation. I mean, it doesn't look bad. I feel like on camera it looks nice as well. I do feel like if you had like dry skin, you won't like this foundation because it did cling on to the dry patches that I had, the fine lines that I have, like right here on my forehead. So when I just took a picture using the back camera and flash, like my skin doesn't look the best, honestly. It's like over um emphasizing like the pores the texture that i have on my skin you can definitely see it's dewy oily you can definitely see the areas where it's rubbed off so it doesn't look the best on my skin honestly after eight hours so i definitely need to keep trying this out testing it out for you guys because i like it but i don't love it so it's a nice foundation but not like my favorite foundation let me know down below any other videos that you guys would like to see on my channel thank you so much for watching don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you all in my next video. Bye!